Sun Ra arrived on Earth in 1914. Commonly credited as the founder of the misnomer Afrofuturism, Ra's black equational approach to jazz has directly influenced many, including John Coltrane, Solange, Jay Dilla, and Manfilin. Today I will be discussing his concept of music. In a short work of prose titled The Air Spiritual Man, Sun Ra presents one of the most complete conceptions of music found in his oeuvre. In this text, Ra's first invocation of music is to say that it envisions and potentializes, it limits or extends. It is also of the psychometric endeavor. Continuing, Ra presents a relationship between words and music. Ra says of this relationship that words are music, whether written or spoken, and music is a voice, another sound of words. Ra elucidates that music employs a sound word, which comes in many forms. Ra describes words of the Infinity Dictionary, a finite lexicon, and bridge words between meaning and non-meaning. The relationship between words employed by music is exactly the same as that of language, and ultimately, music is a language of its own. Following, Ra says, all creative art is music. Art, choreography, sculpture, portraits, artworks, photograph, painting, architectural designs, the forms of nature, trees, flowers, grass, everything vibrational is of a different degrees of music. There is music everywhere, infinite infinity. It is the language of enduring impression. It is through this that we must read Ra's poem, The Sound Image, where we find Ra stating, Endless sound is a universal language, because that is what the music is. Equations bridge across the bridgeless, bottomless world of sound. That is what the music is, the universal language, the bridge communication sound. There is no other way to speak to everyone in every language each can feel and understand except through music. How can you speak to other worlds except through music? The music lets them know where you are at, and what you are. From these two excerpts, we can gather that any creative action is musical. Music is a universal language, the only language which can be used to communicate to every being, and that music maintains a transportative property, that it has the ability to allow bodies to move over previously impassable terrains, like a bridge of sound. One may be confused by the statement, everything vibrational is of different degrees of music, but it is here that Liz Ngatari may aid us. In Of the Refrain, a plateau of their monumental 1980 text, A Thousand Plateaus, we find that every milieu is vibratory. In other words, a block of space-time constituted by the periodic repetition of the component. They further elucidate that chaos is not the opposite of rhythm, but the milieu of all milieus. There is rhythm whenever there is a transcoded passage from one milieu to another, a communication of milieus, coordination between heterogeneous space-times. It is within this communication of milieus that we find the transportative property of music. The vibratory milieus, or arrangement of repetitions, make up a primary component of music. However, this repetition is necessarily related to a production of difference. In my work, I have followed some raw in labeling this production of difference as jazz and extended this repetition to the concept of hip-hop. It is from here that I develop my concept of the jazz-hip-hop duality, of the plane of duality comprehension, which will be discussed in further videos.